So if you're a Mac user and you've ever wanted to create a password encrypted folder, you do have the ability to do that, but it requires a few steps to make that happen. The first thing you want to do is you want to start Disk Utility. So I'm going to go find Disk Utility and start it up. So with Disk Utility running, I'm now going to go up to the File menu and say New Image, Image from Folder. Now I have prepared a folder of files that I want to be put into this encrypted folder. And I'm going to go select that. That is actually on my desktop and it's called Medtronix. So I'm going to choose that. Now once I have that selected, it asks me what do I want to call it. And Medtronix is a fine name. It's going to put it on the desktop. Uh, I am going to come in here to encryption and I'm going to say I want 128-bit encryption. Now to do that I have to give it a password. So I'm going to type in a password and verify to allow me to be able to create that. So here under image format, I don't want to compress it. I want it to be read-write because I want to be able to open this up, make changes to it, close it up again, and have it keep all the changes that I've made. So next I'll hit save. Save will allow me then to create that file. Uh, it is going to create a disk image on my desktop. I'll hit done and I will quit the disk utility. So on my desktop I now have a disk image called Medtronix. Whoops, uh, looks just like this right here. I have the ability to be able to double click this disk image and it will ask me for the password that I gave it. I type my password in, hit OK, and you'll notice now it has mounted a Medtronix disk image over here on the side. I can open that up and here are the files that were in that folder. So let's say I want to add another file to that folder. Let's say I want to put this file for preview in there. I can drag it in there, close this up, I can then unmount that disk image and I still have the disk image file over here on my desktop. When I double click on it, type in my password again, it remounts that disk image, I open that disk image up and there's my new file and it's still in there. Still encrypted, everything inside there is encrypted and gives me the ability to be able to have an encrypted folder on the desktop that only I have the password for that I can go into and add and delete files from.